It's basically, well, we were all sort of, well, I wasn't actually in the band at the time, but everyone that was in the band was sort of 15, 16 years old. And it was a saying that was going around the group of friends. And the band basically, they needed a name to put on a flyer to play the first show that they'd ever played. And they just chose this saying, you me at six. And then the next thing, they thought, oh, you know, later on, we'll change it, we'll change it, we'll come up with a better name or whatever. And it just never got changed. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's too late. So now we're sort of stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm Dan, I play drums. and uh, My name's Chris and I play guitar. We've got uh, Josh, who sings. We've got Max, plays guitar, and Matt Barnes, who uh, plays bass sometimes. I think we've always used the band as a way of traveling and seeing the world. Um, for us, it's not so much about promoting the album. It's about you know seeing the world and, and playing to as many people as we can and, and meeting as many new people and, and seeing where we have fans. So the fact that we have fans over here and people have bought tickets to the show is kind of mind blowing, and um, and we get to see Kuala Lumpur, and, and that's it's just a chance to basically tick all the places in the world off the list that we've wanted to go, and may not get the chance to go otherwise. So it's it's really really cool to be able to do it. The new album um, it's called Cavalier Youth. It's our fourth studio album. Uh, we recorded with a, a producer called Neil Avron, who's done like Fallout Boy and Aerosmith and cool stuff like that. And he's just the biggest legend of all time. And um, yeah, basically, we recorded it out in LA. And we had a hell of a lot of fun producing it, really. Yeah, it's really, really cool album. I think it's our favorite piece of work we've done to date. Um, it was lucky enough to go to number one in the UK. And uh, we're basically just touring the world promoting it. Three favorite songs. I'm going to choose Cold Night. Uh, I'm going to choose a song called Room to Breathe. It's kind of a big rock big rock song powerful like big guitars and uh really really proud of that one and then the last one i choose yeah probably a song called forgive and forget it's uh it's kind of a well-rounded rock song as well with like a good chorus and it's just really fun to play yeah it's a different kind of song for us so yeah forgive and forget is one of my favorites challenges um i think it was just just the pressure of releasing a fourth album i think for a band like us a lot of bands only get the chance to make one or two, so we've been lucky enough to be on our fourth at the moment. And just the pressure of really stepping things up and producing something we were all proud of and that our fans would really, really like, but in the se at the same time challenging ourselves to make a different sort of sound and really push ourselves to make the best CD we could. I think uh, for the people that haven't obviously got to see us live before, I think it's just a really, really fun experience for everyone. We always try and get the crowd really, really involved and make it as fun as possible where it's jumping along singing along and um it's always just nice to play places for the first time because you really don't know what to expect uh we played in manila the other day for the first time ever and it was amazing so we're really really hoping to carry on sort of the run of great shows for the first time so it should be good i think we're playing about 12 to or it might be even more than that we have like 14 songs something like that a little bit from each album that we've done every i think we're playing pretty much all of the singles that we've ever released all the songs we've got videos for and things like that so that fans who maybe haven't been able to pick up our album because they can't find it or whatever but they just know us through watching our songs on youtube and watching our videos and stuff like that they should have a good time expectation for tonight's show i think did i uh we're not really too sure, to be honest, because obviously we've never played here before. But um, we've heard from friends bands that uh, friends in bands that uh, it's a really, really great place to play. And a lot of people have said that doing tours over this side of the world, Kuala Lumpur has been their best show out of all of them. So really, really excited to see what it's like. Um, I have Twitter. Chris has Twitter. Um, my name is Dan Me at Six. It's kind of like all of our, all of our names are sort of something to do with the band. Chris's is Chris YMES, yeah, right? Twitter, yeah. And then, uh, what's your Instagram? Isn't it something funny? Chewy, Chewy Me at Six, I think. Chewy Me at Six. Yeah. Chew's name is... Chewy. Yeah. Chris's name is Chewy, really. He's got a nickname. Yeah, we have the Me at Six part. My, my Instagram name is Welcome to Flint Town, just because it's a nickname and it's funny and people take the fun, take the mic out. And then, um, the band one is just You Me at Six, so it's where at You Me at Six, You Me at Six, um on Instagram and then New Meet 6 official on YouTube so check it out what do you want to say to our fans in Malaysia well 
for a start, we didn't know that we had any fans in Malaysia, but the fact that we do, because, uh, well, people have bought tickets to the show, uh, we just want to say thank you for sort of waiting around and being so patient with us to come to your beautiful country, basically. Yeah, and uh, we can't wait for the show, and we'll see you next time, hopefully. Hell yeah.